Hi, I'm Tom Friedman. I'm a lawyer in Nevada, and today I'm going to talk to you about roofs crushing on model year 1999 to 2016 Ford Super Duty pickup trucks. Now, what's going on here? Every year, thousands of Americans unfortunately are killed in rollover accidents. If a vehicle's roof significantly crushes during a rollover, the occupants inside will be more severely injured or they'll be killed. Um, compared to roofs that stay intact and protect the occupants. So what happened with the Ford Super Duty uh, trucks is that there was a roof crush problem and recently, August 19 of 2022, a jury in Georgia um, awarded the family of Melvin and Von Seal Hill $24 million in compensatory damages when they were killed in a rollover in their Ford Super Duty and Ford also got a verdict against it of $1.7 billion in punitive damages. So um, this is a huge lawsuit. This is a big setback for Ford. Presumably Ford's going to appeal this and the numbers may come down, but it does give an example of how this roof crush issue may be very, very significant. Um, in this particular case, the lawyers for the family argued that the roofs on the 1999 to 2016 Super Duty trucks were defectively designed and dangerously weak and that Ford, this is the important part, Ford knew of the dangers posed by the roofs. So the attorneys for the family pointed to evidence. They showed that the roofs uh, failed in the company's own internal testing and that Ford engineers developed a stronger roof for its Super Duty pickup trucks back in 2004. However, Ford didn't even use the new design in trucks sold to consumers until 2017. So additionally, the pretrial order in the Hill case states that Ford had identified 162 lawsuits and 80 to 83 similar incidents involving the roof crushing in 99 to 2016 Super Duty pickup trucks. Automakers have an obligation to take steps to ensure the safety of the vehicles they make available to the public. Sometimes cost cutting or bad engineering results in problems and lawsuits like this one, ex well, they're a really good example of when there is a problem that doesn't get promptly resolved. Now, this is considered a product defect case, and generally there's three kinds of product defects. There's a failure to warn, a manufacturer did not properly warn of the dangers associated with the product. Um, there's also a, a kind of defect that comes off the assembly line different from the others. Let's say there's a thousand trucks made, and one of them comes off the assembly line with a missing steering wheel. So uh, that would be a separate kind of defect. Uh, this case is primarily about the third type, which is a design defect, where the product was actually designed to provide an unreasonable unre risk of harm to the consumer. In this case, it would be the roof crushing when the truck rolled over. If you would like more information regarding the collapsing roofs on four trucks, please feel free to give me a call or drop me an email. Thanks very much for watching.